from our golfers. <laughs> few quotes. Yeah. Few quotes. Yeah. Well, we're in, we're in position A. Yeah. Excellent. Well, we've kicked off. <laughs> Hi folks, Mark here. Views from Mark reporting for 007 GB. We're here at the On His Majesty Secret Service event at the Belfry Golf Hotel and Resort Spa. Um, it's an amazing venue, as you will see. Our stars have arrived. We had a very kind of informal first evening with a dinner with the stars, John Glenn, all of our Bond alumni that are in attendance. And today is the main event itself, as I say, on His Majesty's Secret Service Part 2. As I speak, I'm currently on my way to our main room and area, which is the Woodlands Suite here at the Belfry, where we have a whole host of things taking place today. We have panel discussions with the Bond girls. Bond girls are forever. We have a fantastic discussion with our editor-in-chief, David Lowbridge-Ellis, to talk 70 years of foreplay and how Bond and golf kind of tie together, which is gonna be really cool. And then to round things off at the end of the day, I'll be conducting a one-to-one -one discussion with man of action himself, Mr. John Glenn, where I'll be asking all the questions that so many of us would love to ask, as well as putting some of your questions to the British filmmaking legend. So it promises to be a fun-filled day full of fans meeting, autographs, photo opportunities, as well as some cars. So let's have a look at those as we head into the Woodland Suite. He went back oh, to the location of the one gone. With, with two other friends, and they each they gave you the same. Well, John, John, I'm John, not listening to anyone. Usually, while it's quiet. Oh. 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 So as you can see, we have a whole host of James Bond vehicles that are in attendance at today's event. We of course have this magnificent white Lotus Esprit uh, next to our club president there, Mr. Phil Dewhurst. Phil, can I get, get a few words with you here? I mean, how amazing is it? We are here at the Belfry Hotel Resort. We are. We've just had the tee off with John Glenn. We did. And these cars behind us. Oh, the I cars mean, are beautiful. They I mean, are beautiful. I mean, we've got the Vanquish. We've got the DB5. We've got the Lotus Esprit yeah. Turbo. Over there, we've got Morris Minor that was yeah. a, like Thunderball. Yeah. Yeah. And we have a secret fourth car here. We call it the Vanish. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, folks. There you go. Um, so yeah, as you can see, and as, as Phil mentions there, we have this wonderful white Lotus Esprit. Directly behind that, we have the most gorgeous Aston Martin DB5 Goldfinger specification um you know you don't want to be touching the button on the uh, gear shift but that is absolutely stunning and then followed closely behind by an aston martin vanquish that you would have seen in die another day um the sister car to the vanish that we have in the other parking space of course so yeah an absolutely incredible lineup of cars i mean Come on, it doesn't get any better than this um, in terms of lineups for cars. Absolutely stunning. It's going to be amazing to have photo opportunities with these cars for all the attendees. 
wish more of you guys could be here, but um, this is a, you know, a great setting and a great indication of things to come at future events. But yeah, yeah I'm joined by a very special guest today. This is Peter, Hi. the owner of this Bite the Back of Your Hand Beautiful DB5. Now, Peter, um, this is a stunning car. As you know, you're the owner. Can you, yes, Can you tell us a little bit about this car, how long you've had it, this history, etc. Yes, yeah, so, um, I've had the car about 20 years now, so I bought it as a restoration project. Um, and obviously the, the only color to have it really was the silver birch, so I had it came silver birch, and then that sort of led to events like this. Um, I hire it out for like weddings uh, and events and all sorts of stuff like that now. So it's, uh, yeah, it's just lovely to see other people enjoy it as well as, as me. Yeah, so I've got to ask, you say obviously that the color to go for with this car is the silver birch. This is the gold finger color, the gold for it's finger the specification. Yeah. Are you, were you a Bond fan? Was that the inspiration? Yeah, absolutely. Or? No, I was, I was a Bond fan. Um, I think I was an Aston fan first, and then right. kind of the, the Bond become a little bit later on, like sort of as, as you progress with the car, you obviously meet lots of um, Bond fans. Yes. And you can't help but, I mean, I've always watched Bond films. I mean, Goldfinger is probably my favorite, um, uh, mainly because of the car. Um, yeah. And, and obviously Sean Connery. So for me, he's the ultimate. James Bond. Absolutely. No, well, if we have a quick walk around the yeah, car, so to speak, I mean, you, you've had this over 20 years and yeah. this was a restoration project, you yeah, say. it took about 10 years to restore it. Okay. Um, so yeah, la labour of love, really. Yeah. Um, sort of started off, I stripped it to a shell. Uh, I had a company do the, the body shell for me and then got it back, had it painted and then yeah, I did the sort of mechanic side of it. That's my, my thing, mechanics. Oh, that's fantastic. I'm going to ask our ca wonderful cameraman here, Miles, our vice president who's uh, doing duties here. Are we able to have a look inside? Yeah, I believe course, yeah, if, if you're able to open yeah, the door and we can yeah. maybe get a few shots of the interior yeah, there. 100%, yeah. So I tried to keep as much original originality as I could. Yeah. Um, so it's all the interior is the original leather and, and that. Ejector seat. Oh, unfortunately not. <laughs> unfortunately not. No, sadly not. It'd be nice sometimes. <laughs> it would, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. And you say that you hire out your DB5 for events, weddings, etc. Um, where can people look you up if they want to uh, find out more? Yep. So um, I've got a, I've got a uh, website which is uh, astonmartindb5hire.com. Um, just drop me a line, and uh, yeah. Have a look at it. Fantastic. See what we can do for people. Yeah. We'll put a link in the description below, folks, if you want to go and check that out. I oh, thoroughly really, recommend yeah. it because this is, I mean, it doesn't get any better than this DB5 Goldfinger specification, does it? No. Peter, I want to say a massive thank you to you for bringing it down, for oh, supporting very the club, our efforts to raise money for UNICEF, and um, yeah, keep up the great work because oh, it is a you. beauty. No, it's a great day. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. So let's take this opportunity to give you a view of everything we had set up here at the Woodland Suite at the Belfry Hotel and Resort. As you can see, this was our main function room. We had a wonderful photographer who was on site, who was doing photos with the stars for people and instant print facilities so people could get their photos and then have the stars sign them as well. As you can see, we had these wonderful tables set up that gave a view of the staging area and the projector screen. We also had an area to the side where all of the golfing trophies for the golf teams were on display. We were very fortunate and very grateful to be supported by Penfold Golf, who donated so many wonderful items as prizes for the golfing teams and also the charity auction, which raised many thousands of pounds throughout the course of the day. So this was all the golfing prizes. If we come over to the other side of the staging area, here you can see some of the wonderful auction items and raffle items that we had on display. So we were very, very generously supported by club members, by Bond brands, by our sponsors of the event, who all kind of dug deep and provided such a wonderful lineup of auction items that people could all bid on and raising money in support of UNICEF, the likes of Aston Martin, NPL, Penfold, Duke's Bar, Alessandro donated, uh, Universal Bond Art, the list goes on. It was a wonderful collection and raised a lot of money for UNICEF on the day.
So as we come into the foyer of the Woodland Suite, you can see here we had a wonderful art print donated by Universal Bond Art of Sean Connery. It was a Goldfinger print that was for sale. That went down really popular and sold very, very quickly. Here we had a wonderful display as well by Max 77. They were instrumental in providing some of the vehicles that we had on display outside the front of the Woodland Suite, things like the Lotus, but they also provide a whole array of cars, DeLoreans, etc. Um, as we then head into our main kind of signing room, we had it all set up so that around the sides of the room we had our individual stars with their own tables, with their own photos if people wanted to get a photo that was signed by one of the stars or you know you could bring your own personal item whether that be a poster or a car or an autograph book whatever the case may be here of course this was early in the day and everyone was raring to get going we had Silvana there here we have Mariam Diabo um, already doing some signings for the living daylights with some club members there and you know everyone was relishing the opportunity to get this one-to-one -one time with the stars as well as having you know their personal items or photographs signed by these wonderful Bond alumni. Of course John Glenn was kept very busy throughout the course of the day. He didn't stop, he was a great trooper, just ploughed on through doing signings of personal items, photos as I say, posters, all kinds of collectibles and you know people just loved that opportunity to get these signatures from the stars because we have Alison Worth here alongside Catherine Winclair who is assisting um, and this is I think the theme of the day is just bringing people together and having these wonderful opportunities to meet these stars who we all know and love who we've all seen on the big screen or the small screen on television you know and it just was a great friendly environment where everyone came together and had a wonderful time. So folks, we're here on His Majesty's Secret Service Part 2. We're having a great day. I'm joined by two club members, Mike and Ian. Now, guys, welcome, first and foremost, to today's event. Thank you, Mark. I believe you guys were actually members of the original British fan club going back many years. Well, many That's years. actually how we met. Oh, really? Yeah, because the fan club was um, was originally devised by a fellow called Ross Hendry. Okay. And back in the early days, it was um, it was a small fanzine, and Ross had promoted trying to build up regional. Uh, elements of the club and Mike had, um, Mike had put an advert because we're both from the Midlands in this area Mike had put an advert for the uh, for the West Midlands branch of the fan club which I responded to uh, along with others and I, I, and I think we were the um, the only ones who really carried on meeting after all uh, after all those years so we've met many good friends by being uh, invited to join Mike and, uh, and the, the West Midlands branch of the fan club. Uh, yeah, that started in 1981 when we got up and running. So we've been friends now for, for yeah, 42 years, and all, all through Bond, and we've done locations, we've done events over the years. We, we've started to travel, uh, you know, uh, around the world on Bond location, which has been really great. Um, it's been really interesting and really good that this new fan club's come up, up and it's allowed us to. Uh, to meet like-minded people and I think one of the main advantages of this club is the fact that it's not London centric yes. you know that by moving it around because if, if you're going to be a British fan club then the UK is a big country yeah. and therefore it's nice for people to be able to not have to travel all the time massive long distances with the expense and it's, it's been, this has been a bonus for me because I live 30 minutes away so this and, and if I can't support something that's 30 minutes away I can't have a whinge and moan about the fact of doing it elsewhere. Fair enough well I think you touched on something there there was a definitely a um, kind of not a gap in the market, but there was a void in terms of there wasn't a British based fan club for a while, so Indeed. it's good to have finally. I mean, it's only nine months old or so, another club that is, is coming up and doing events like this. I'd love to get your thoughts on today's event. I mean, is this this is the first 007 GB event that you've attended? Um, no, we um, we attended the um, the first uh, get together in London, of course, uh, which was held a, at a bar opposite the um, uh, the MI six MI six building yeah. on the Thames. Um, so we travelled down for that. I I couldn't get to the um, the, the HS no, Belfast. Yeah. It, it, it clashed with something else. Yeah. 
Um, but certainly this being so local as well, it was ideal. It made sense. Um, and, uh, and it's just great to have, it, it's so refreshing to have a club, as Mike has just indicated, to have something that is outside of London. Of course, we don't mind going to London. Crikey, we went down to London for that gathering. Yeah. But it's so refreshing to have a club that are holding events here in the Midlands. There was one, I think, up in Manchester. Manchester, yeah, we had a shooting uh, event. A shooting event. Um, just lovely to be able to get around and, and meet people. That's what draws me to the events. Yeah. Just having a chat and catching up with friends who we only ever sort of meet at these sort of uh, or Facebook events. or social media yeah. don't we when we, we you know we correspond and we speak to people it's nice I mean there's lots of people have spoken to me today and, and it's quite embarrassing in some respects because I don't know who they are apart from when they go I know you because we've and they go oh yes and then you realize who they oh, are because nice. you follow them and you you go you, you take enjoyment I think one of the things I'll say about this club which is a lot better is we all seem to enjoy everybody else enjoying things yes so when, when we see someone and they've been to a, a, a location um, it's not an envious thing it's like oh that's fantastic and when we were, we've been to an event before and we said oh we've been to uh, we've been to Matera and that was lovely and someone said oh wh where did you go how did you do that and then we said we're going somewhere else and then somebody jumped in and go oh we've been there and they were trying to help each other out to suggest where you should go and, and I think that's a really nice part of this club yeah. is that people are quite help helpful to, to want to share in your enjoyment of things and that, that's what I found about this so far absolutely well that's fantastic in addition oh, in addition the fact that it's raising money for yeah. charity, I think is absolutely great. And it, it was so well priced, and it's allowed us to have additional money in our pockets to put into the charity. In other ways, we bought lottery um, um, raffle tickets, yeah. photographs to the Bond yeah. girls, well that's a good way of donating some more money to the yeah. charity, as far as I can see. So, great um, <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Uh, uh, Sorry about that. There it is, but yeah. Uh, just a great fundraising yeah. activity it's, that goes along with it. It's great to give back, and I think Sir Absolutely. Roger would be Absolutely. very proud if he was yes. here because he was such a, an ambassador for you and a yeah. great yeah. example. Um, but look, guys, it's great to have you here. I hope you enjoy the rest of the day. We've got more coming. Afternoon Thank tea. you, Mark. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, discussion with John Glenn, golf discussion, the golfers will be back soon, so yeah. Excellent value for money. Thank you. Thank you for all the hard work everybody does on our behalf. It's really it's nice to pleasure. be part of this. It's a pleasure. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I'm going to hand over now to Catherine Winclair, who is going to do our first panel of the afternoon. Bond girls are forever. So please give a very warm welcome to Catherine and to our Bond of the Morning ladies. Thank you very much. Welcome, everybody. Uh, for those of you who have, we've not met, um, I was at the HMS Belfast for the gala recently. I'm Agent 00152 of the club. Huge, huge fan of everything that 007 GP is doing. You know where we're going, do you? Apparently. Okay. Shall we uh, start? Caution, please drive carefully. Oh, <laughs> off. Please clap. Unsafe driving. We will void warranty. warranty. <laughs> Hi folks, this is Bond fans in golf buggies on the golf course. With no coffee. With no coffee. But a Moscow mule. But a Moscow mule. So I think this is a one-way system. So I'm we'll driving, go we'll go this way. I'm driving this golf cart and we're off to, uh, sorry, it's a bit bumpy. Um, we are off to check on the progress of the golfers here at the On His Majesty Secret Service. Charity golf day. Charity golf day, yeah. yeah. What other way? Phil. Club president here joining me, of course. How's it going, Phil? What are you thinking? What are your thoughts? I'm loving it. The, the members are loving it. I can't believe the amount of support we've got from people. You know, all the bond cards we got here today, we didn't pay for them. They're yeah. here to support UNICEF and the club. And yeah. it's absolutely fantastic. I've just realized, I drove all the way around with John, right through to the you road. Could but, yeah, could have just come through this way. We know for the return journey. At yes. Least. Comedians in cars getting coffee. One of my favorite episodes is with Alec Baldwin. And he's telling a story about... Uh, Burt Lancaster and Kirk Douglas when they were filming the movie Tough Guys. And uh, Alec Baldwin's sort of a, a much better impressionist than I would ever be. Uh, but he, but he, he goes through, they have all these 10 by 8s they're signing. So Burt Lancaster does all these 10 by 8s these beautiful, thick signature. They go through to Kirk Douglas and they give, I think we'll go down that way. We'll, yeah, we'll find people that way. Uh, and they give Kirk Douglas the stack of 10 by 8s to sign and the pen and he signs the first one and, and yes 
and the permanent marker is so thin because why did you give me this pen? This is so thin. So they have to go over to Bert Lancaster's trailer and they knock on the on the on the trailer, the wagon on the on the set, and immediately Bert Lancaster knew exactly what we were after and he opened the door and he went, I believe you're looking for this. Yes. The thick pen. I yeah. love that episode. It's, it's great. such a great episode. So many great episodes of comedians in cars getting coffee. And today I think we're starting something different. We'll do a bomb fans in cars getting coffee at some yes. point. Um it's a shame we couldn't do one in the DB5. That well, would we probably been... can. He won't let us drive it. No, but we can sit there statically. We could do. And we could have people running around it as if they're in motion, in motion, and we're motionless. Like, like in Scooby-Doo where you That's see it. the same That's background. That's it, yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, everyone's having a wonderful day. We we're really being are. followed by a VW van. Hopefully he's not a... Spectre a agent. Person, a Spectre agent. But... Um, Ooh, speed bump. Nope. Oh, mind the drink. Mind the drink. Um, everyone's having a great day. John Glenn is loving it, I believe. You know, oh, you he's really having such a great time. From, Being uh, with all with nine Bond girls. Yeah. But some of them he, he obviously worked with on various films, right back to Honor Majesty 69 with Silvana. And then obviously Carol and, uh, and Alison and Mariam, who is one of his favorite actresses. He cast her in three other films, non Bond. Uh, we're going to pull to the side. So the I'm just going to, yeah, here. let's be kind and considerate. Yes. We're looking for the PGA. Okay. Ah. The 007 team. We need to see where they are, where they are up to. We follow you. Perfect. See, that's service. And that is the kind of service you get at a five-star luxury resort. It is. We'll turn around. And the Belfry have actually been really fantastic because they gave us the largest suite they have here, the Woodland Suite. And um, they did that uh, for, for no additional money. They just wanted us to have a great day, raising money for UNICEF and be comfortable. So we have a 270 person conservatory and a 250 person ballroom for the afternoon tea. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, I, I can't thank the Belfry enough for everything they've done. They really have been superb. They really have been a fantastic venue, haven't they? And uh, the food's a lot this. better than the Belfast. Okay. okay. Uh, the, yeah, the staff have been great. Um, nothing's been too much trouble. No. The room setup has been brilliant, I think. Oh, People yes. have enjoyed it. And we had the Bond Girls Are Forever discussion. That Which was really nice. Really lovely. You see, I've always said, when you have multiple Bond Girls, if you have like nine or six or however many you might have, we had nine. Um, okay, wonderful. We'll follow you. Um, they play off each other's stories because they have similar shared experiences. Uh, they yeah. were all in different films and different stages of the career, different ages and whatnot. But that Bond girls are forever. It, that's what you get from the, the when you see them in person. The sense of community, family, strength. They all. Mariam say that. said siren. Yeah. Uh, Martine said fabulous. They, you know, and and they are all that and more. And John, to be here as director of five films. A fifth of the franchise. Yeah, uh, he he's having such a good time. He really has been such a good supporter of us in the club. Absolutely, and I think one of the key things that struck me as we were what, sat, whoa, it's a bit bumpy, <laughs> folks. Uh, one of the key things that struck me as we were sat watching that great discussion and hearing the stories and the memories and the recollections from all those wonderful Bond alumni ladies. My hair looks good. It does, uh, as always. Um, was it struck me? There's, this is, you know, one of those unbelievably rare opportunities. I mean, how, to have how, together. Yeah, how yeah. many more chances are there going to be there isn't. like this? There isn't. There isn't. You know. It's very difficult to put together. My friendships with all of them is why they're here and to support UNICEF. Yeah. They absolutely love the fact. They're so proud to be members themselves of the British club. And, you know, largest club in the world, over 500 members. Great support from the Swiss, the French, the Germans community togetherness i mean nobody lives forever bond girls are forever but to get nine bond girls legendary stuntman or a, a bond ally favorite and chong glenn himself 007 gb lifetime achievement award winner yeah the first here, one yeah at a golf event i don't even like golf i understand people do and i it's a part of bond and we have the ceo of penfold golf we have the owner of n peel we have my mother and father who are fantastic people and golfers we, we have uh, members who were just had never played before, and they was like, can we play? I actually had to give my golf clubs to somebody else, a member, yeah, to play with. Yeah. I mean, I haven't used them for over 10 years because I'm a terrible golfer. 
uh, and then once they come in from the golf, we're going to have a beautiful afternoon tea. Yeah. You've got your moment coming up with John Action Man Glenn, John Glenn. Yeah. Where a stage talk. Uh, I'm we've really got a Lotus. We've got a DB5. We've got a Vanquish. And we, we've got the Vanish as well. I keep telling people. Yeah. We've got a, a Morris Minor that was used, a convertible used in Thunderball. That, I mean, we had somebody, a member just turn up with a, a Z3 from Goldeneye and he said, can yeah. I park it with the bunk? I said, of course you can. Yeah. And, the, the and we had someone from the Aston Martin Owners Club as well. And, yeah. and his wife's handbag matched the orange of his car. Yeah. People are having such a great time. I wish we could have, um, I wish we'd have known they were going to give us the bigger suite a few weeks ago and we could have allowed more members to come because our, our events all sell out. Yeah. Uh, which is great. And I wish everybody could be here. And I, I understand that some people live in London, some live in Scotland, Japan, France, 18, 19, 20 countries. Okay. All right. We shall stay in a holding pattern. Um, it's, it's, it's really special. It when really I was a is. kid, and, you know, we're pretty much similar age. I'm a bit older than him. Um, I could have never imagined that this is the kind of thing we'll be putting together. Yep. Yep. Follow him. And it's wonderful. It is. Um, you know, we, we we're on track to raise over twenty five thousand for UNICEF, and well, I mean, we're doing the Lord's work. We are, I mean, and we're having fun and making Sir Roger proud. Oh, he would have loved it. He, he would have loved it. My dad said to me very late on last night at the bar with Martin. He said, "I wish Roger could have been here to see this." Yeah, um, he is. Yeah, he is. He is. Here and we go. Here, um, here we've we actually speak of the devil. We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna move on from this and okay. speak to Paul. Can I get Paul Weston in this hot yeah. seat? Yeah, you yeah. may. Okay. So folks, we're doing another Bond fan in a golf buggy, but with a Bond stars action star, Paul Weston, who is actually out here on the golf course playing around. Paul, how's it going? How's your game today? Um, it's really great. Um, I, I, I've got a lot of good shots in my bag. I just forgot to bring the right bag. So, these things yes. happen. These things happen. But you're having a good day. You're enjoying yes, yourself. Yes. Yeah. The boys are looking after me, and uh, um, I, they're playing well. So uh, it's good. Fantastic. <laughs> well, I won't keep you too long, but I just wanted to kind of see, get your thoughts on. Obviously, you've been playing golf today, so you've not seen what's been going on back at the the main hotel area. But no. in terms of your sense, this is your second 007 GB Club event. The first mm -hmm. being the Belfast, yes. uh, which it was great to have you there. For, but how, how are you feeling about what's going on today and, uh, I, and everything? I think, I think it's amazing what the organization has been fantastic and to uh, be able to get this many people together in such a short time it just it just amazes me that uh, the organization is so well done and I must commend all the, the, the people on the committee and, and the person for, for getting us all to you know here in the first place um, just wonderful and we had a lovely night last night um and looking forward to the rest of the day yeah well there's more to come definitely um you've got your game to finish i believe still yes. yeah um so i'm gonna let you carry on because i know you're having a bite to eat but paul mm. thank you again for coming for attending for supporting the club raising money for unicef you know it's really appreciated on behalf of all of our members unicef you know everyone we do appreciate all of our bond alumni and we supporting. appreciate your um interest in, in in james bond um you know we we make a living at it but uh i it, it's gratifying to know that so many fans are out there and appreciate the, the stories and and what we've done excellent so thank you very much thank you very much paul thank there you. we go paul West. cheers bye, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Hi folks, I'm here with two members. Introduce yourselves, because people probably know who you are already, but let us know, who are you guys? So I'm Tom, I'm from the Really 007 podcast. My name's Kevin, I'm also with Tom, featuring the podcast, which they broadcast as well. Fantastic. So guys, you've been here at today's event all day. What are your thoughts, what are your feelings right now? Uh, I mean, it's been another brilliant success for Diverse Summer GB. Neither of us play golf. We haven't played golf today. But the amount of stuff that's been laid on for us, we've had autograph and photograph sessions with so many Bond actors, mainly Bond girls, who we've all been in love with for many years. And John Glenn, who is our, well, my personal favourite director. So 
it's just been a dream come true, Mark. I mean, it's amazing, isn't it, to think that we had 12 Bond alumni yeah. in one room. Yeah. We, how often do we get a chance like this as yeah. Bond fans? It's funny, I was sitting and I was thinking to myself, yeah. this, this, this is Bond girls, nine Bond girls in one room, and I was looking at each and every one, you know, casting my mind back to the film, and having to pinch myself. <laughs> this is something that doesn't happen every day. No. So no. We, we are very lucky to be here. And again, to Philip for a bit. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you guys for coming. Thank you for supporting the club. Thank you for supporting the Unisex. Um, until the next time, guys. Thank you very much. Keep the British, keep the British end up. We will. Yeah, we will we always say. keep thank the British end up. Cheers, Simon and James will shoot over to you if you win the item and you directly donate on the Just Giving page to UNICEF. Don't give us the money. Kevin McGee here is holding our Black Cloud Run. <laughs> so this is a limited edition Black Cloud Run. It's a great run. Nice box. Where should we start? Should we start at hmm, 20 pounds? Anybody 20 pounds? 20. Do I see 30? 30. 40? Oh, one, two, three. Don't know. Oh, now we have 60. 50, 60? Rob, 60. Any advance on 60? Right. UNICEF sent us this. Um, it's from Soccer Aid and it's multi signed. Let's get it out of the bank. People like Usain Bolt, Wayne Rooney, the, the, the whole thing. 50. 100. It's a lot of signatures. Do you want to look at it a bit closer? I want to. So around the two of I mean, this is like a legendary person here, and yeah, 500. If you can't, that's fine. So now, thank you. Bollinger gift set with uh, a bottle of uh, the uh, special cuvee with the Bollinger etched glasses. So, 200. This artwork here has been provided by a guy online, a local artist called Universal Bond Art. Uh, he's donated a couple of pieces today. Uh, you might have seen two of his pieces in the lobby as well. Uh, this artwork is an original artwork which has now been limited to a print run of 100. The item that we've got here is print number edition 007 of 100. There isn't any other piece now in the world like this because we've taken this around our stunning Bond Girls today who have all signed it in gold sharp around the outside. So you've easily got over three figures worth of signatures on there. It's certainly worth a bit. One of a kind. Double O7. What a beautiful piece of artwork. 260. We'll never get another. No, 280. So now. <laughs> so, three figures. <laughs> N Peel Skyfall scarf, very generously donated. A beautiful, such a soft scarf. Uh, it crosses over. Love it. It's brilliant. 60. 70? 70. 80? Adam? Yeah, 80. <laughs> 90? You want to go 90? Yeah, go ahead. 90. Any advance on 90? Sold to the man who brought it. <laughs> UNICEF told me in very early days when I started out meeting them, their, their uh, head of UK special events said for every hundred pounds we can rent is that literally saves the life of a child. So that was enough motivation for me and for the rest of the board, I can tell you. So thank you for everything you're spending. Uh, lovely Penfold God set, uh, very generously donated by Mr. Penfold himself, Gavin. What we have here, we have a set of a dozen golf balls, the Penfold Hearts. We have a bag of teas. We have a uh, ball marker. And we have the 60th anniversary divot repair. 
um, bowl marker. So you get two bowl markers. Oh, and you actually get, oh sorry, you get another thing with this. There's a bag, the bag. Ah, here it is. Yeah. I mean, that alone is an, that's an additional 55 pound retail. So again, front pack on that's for the 60th. So you've got a really great set. So one time to Nick. Through what I think are the fun parts of golf in James Bond. And it's a non-player's appreciation, so hopefully I'm a complete non-player. Uh, you'll enjoy it. So here we go. So there are three actual bits of golf in James Bond movies. One famously appears in the first 10 minutes of the first ever James Bond film, Dr. No. 59 years to this day was Goldfinger's premiere in London. That's why we chose this day. It wasn't a coincidence or anything, but it's a neat coincidence. So 59 years today, Goldfinger had its premiere. Um, so, good day everybody. Um, not great scoring today, I must say, but uh, competitive. Thank you. Um, so first of all, we've got Mears and Pin. Uh, uh, for Team Carol and Alison, it was Stuart. And uh, then the longest drive, I think that was before the wind started. Don't know three, yeah? It was a huge drive. Adam, well done. Winners of the inaugural event are Team Profine with the same score but a better back nine. Robert Theroff, Tony Britton, Andrew Charlesworth, and Kevin Warner. Well done, gentlemen. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We will be beginning momentarily uh, our in conversation with this British filmmaking legend, Mr. John Glenn. I um, hope you've had a good afternoon and enjoyed yourselves. Thank you again on behalf of the club for coming and supporting today's event. Our wonderful Bond alumni who have attended, all of the brands who supported the auction and everyone who placed a bid. It has been amazing. Mr. John Glenn, once again, thank you for coming today. Thank you for supporting the club, for supporting UNICEF. We know if Roger Hip was here, he'd be very proud and pleased of, of all the efforts. Ladies and gentlemen, after John Glenn's final words, please do give a yeah. 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 So there we go folks, that has been the highlights reel of the 007 GB Clubs on His Majesty's Secret Service Part 2 event at the Belfry Hotel and Resort. It was a wonderful event, it was fantastic to bring so many people together, both club members and the Bond alumni, together in one place to be able to mix, to hear those wonderful stories that they have to share, to get signing opportunities, photo opportunities, to check out those wonderful cars that we had at the entrance. A massive thank you to everyone who did come and support us on the day. So the, all the individuals that supported us by bringing down vehicles, club members, you know, Aston Martin, Mac 77, Aston Martin DB5 Hire, they were all there for one purpose and that was to support the club and our efforts to raise money for UNICEF. And speaking of which, a massive thank you to everyone who placed winning bid in the auction and to all of our partners, both club members, brand partners and sponsors who donated those wonderful items for the charity auction and the raffle. It was really something special and it was wonderful to be able to raise so much money for UNICEF. There will of course be more content that is coming out from the day, so we still have to come the Bond Girls Are Forever panel discussion hosted by Catherine Vinclair. We have the 70 Years of Foreplay, the Non-Golfer's Guide to Golf and how it relates to Bond that was wonderfully put together by our Editor-in-Chief David Lowbridge Ellis. And of course, the pièce de résistance, we will have the full 
Man of Action in conversation with John Glenn that I was very fortunate to host. That will be going live maybe on my own channel, who knows, but do stay tuned to our social media channels, Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook for more information on those. But until the next time, we hope you've enjoyed this video. Do consider giving it a thumbs up and a like, and if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe for more videos to come and get those notifications in. So as I sign off my own videos, as always, stay safe, stay healthy, stay well, and we will catch you all very soon. Thanks very much.